Hello and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing something a bit different. Instead of like doing a review for another thing that tried on and the Deco Craft Base. Um, I'm just going to do them both in one video and compare them and see which one's better. So first let's do another furniture because it's at the top of the thing. So we're going to add another furniture. Add on. Oh, wait, do I have... Ah. Hold on, I'll be right back. Right, time back. So yeah, uh, I had the all the wool add-on activated, so I decided to deactivate that. Um, real quick, because that also has some furniture in there. I didn't want that accidentally like, get them mixed up. Uh, so here we go. Another furniture add-on. So let's get oh yeah. Uh I can just go into there. Another furniture. Introduction legend has uh, different little looks. Can uh, be painted, has all wood variants, how to use. Yeah, that's just that. So we got the furniture hammer. A special hammer to change how your furniture looks. That's two sticks, two planks, and a slab. Two stick sticks, two planks, and a slab. Yeah. And we've got the furniture hammer. And you got an awning, a decorative item made from uh, carpets. Works with dye. That's uh, just five white carpet. I'm just going to take a stack of wool because I feel like I'm going to be using this a lot. That's three, six. And you get the white awnings. I don't really know what an awning is. You can't really stand on these because you just get pushed off. And that one's just to speed into the void. I think they've Glitched under the floor. Let's see. Ah. My glitch into one of the hoppers, I don't know. But two of them are gone and I don't have them, so yeah. And obviously you'll be able to like die these. I'm not gonna show uh, all them being died. Next up we have a bench. A seat with a different style of options. So that's three slabs and three sticks. I think I'm going to take a bunch of wood as well because it's probably going to be used a lot. One, two, three. And where is it? Ah. Bench. Is this bench? Yeah, oak bench. Here we go. So that can go there. So you get three of them. So a bench, and you can right click to change them. You can have that type of bench if you want, and you can sit on them. Very nice. And that one's falling through the floor. I'm gonna just set that going to sort them out. Well, we're doing this. Then we've got the chair, which is three uh, planks and two sticks. Here. 
You get three cheers. So these ones don't connect on like the bench. You right click them, you can change how the back looks. That was nice. Oh, I think we've... No? I think I've seen some new ones here. Very hard to tell when you loop around. Yeah, I've seen that one before, so I think we've... Yeah, we've looped around. I've, it does it. Does it say where we can die in? Yeah, no, it just says it works with all wood and a hammer. The hammer. So you can't die these. I mean, different types of... Being able to craft over different types of wood is uh, uh, good as well. I need to turn that world farm off because it reduces a lot. <laughs> Next we have curtains, which is two sticks and four wool. We get make some curtains, you get three. The creator of the salon really likes the number three. Uh I've got some glass here in my bedroom. Oh, there we go. Uh, did it say wait to the hammer? Oh, it does say you can close. Oh, is that... Is that... Yeah, that's just right click. You don't need the hammer to do that. Oh, that is cool, though, that you can close them. Oh, that, that is nice. It makes it a little bit... Uh, better. Because you can just... Oh, it would be cool if you could, like, add a, like, redstone. Oh, yeah, and you can die there. It would be cool if you could add a like daylight detector and have it open and close, man, uh, automatically. A drawer, a storage item where you can uh, keep your things. It's three planks, uh, six planks, two slabs, and a stick. Works with any type of wood. So we need a drawer. Where are you? Ah, there we go. Oak drawer. And it's basically a single chest. It does look nice next to my beds. Yeah, the, my problem with these is I can't really stand on them. It'd be nice if you could stand on them. There I go. I want to go down. Down, down, down. <laughs> Next, we got the flower box, which is uh, one dirt, three blanks, and two slabs. So, here we go. Dirt. Uh, wait, what am I doing? I'm going to go back here. I'm going to make some more slabs and I'm going to make flower box. Oh, I didn't mean to put it there. We can have some out here underneath this window. Uh, I don't know if you can you is it like a plant pot? Do I need to hold on? I'll take that out of there. Can I, oh yeah, you can. So you put them in there like that. Okay. So if I go to here. Rose, I have a texture pack that we call that changes them back to roses. So this is probably going to look like poppies when I put it in here. Oh no, it's still roses! Neat! So this will be like texture pack compatible then. Neat. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Next up is wallflower box. It's just a flower box. Uh, okay, let me grab a dirt block real quick and I'll show these off. 
I'll get three flowers. Uh, which one shall I use? Oh, I already did red and blue. How about orange and oh, let's see if we can. I'll see if I can put two tall flowers in there. I don't think you'd be able to, but I'll check. Uh, Lily of the Valleys. You don't know if I could click correctly. White tulip. Alum. Oh no, wait, I need to craft it first. I'm getting ahead of myself. Right, flower boxes. It just says you put it back in to get a... Yep. It doesn't appear on here though, that's from what I can see, so... Yeah, that's probably... What, maybe? Uh, yeah, probably. So let's just like put some up there. So let's see, can I put two tall flowers in it? Hold on, let me get the morph gone out real quick so I can become an LA. Nope, you can't put two tall. Oh, well, it's pushing me away. Yeah, you can't put two tall in it. <laughs> but I can put alliums. I can put orange tulips. And I can put lilies of the valley. Yeah. It would be cool if you could put like, two tall flowers in it and have like little um, like rose bushes and uh, there's some flowers in there. But it is aiming to be more like a plant pot. And I guess that's fine. Just a bit disappointing. Oh, Grandfather Clark. Clark, which is four gold and the redstone. One, two, three, four. And the redstone dust. And we'll make a clock. And then we have the materials for an oak grandfather clock. I guess I can put it there. Yeah. If you don't like the thicker noise, that's going to get annoying real quick. Anyway, it doesn't travel too fast, so I think it might be fine. Uh, you can make lamps with uh, a torch, free wool, and a stick. And you get three lamps. I want to know, can I put this on top of this? I can have it on like... On top of my bedside table. Okay, not very happy right now. Oh, there we go. You can place it on the wall behind it. If I set time to my night time, set mid night. Oh, I have my night vision helmet on. Oh, that looks really nice out of from out. And it's a bit hard to tell because i got so many light sources around here. And not human. A light. Right, so I'll move that one. Human. So if I just... Get rid of this real quick. I do think it gives off a bit of light. Yeah, it does give off some light. Uh, I can tell. 
Let me just go to a leg. And we'll go over there and see how much light it gives off. I need to fix the grass over there because I've still not done that since I did since I'm off. Go on, let's review. So, yeah, it seems to be about a torch, his light level, which is good because you do put a torch in this, it should give at least a torch. Oh, hold on, can you turn it on and off? So, if I right click, yeah, you can turn it on and off. See, that is cool. I'm just going to fly back. So yeah, I don't think I mentioned this yet, but the reason why I've been missing for for the past few days is because my mum needed some help with some stuff, so I've been at my mum's. So yeah, let's be on. Right. Oh, standing lamp. Yep. White standing lamp. It's a lamp. Come on. And now it's freestanding. Yeah, it's just gonna be the same thing. Oh, I'm gonna make an even twelve. Hold on. Uh, I need a stick. I can make some more lambs, and we can use them to make a uh, even taller one. Right, so we make the lamps, and then we make the all standing lamps. It's taller. Also, why is there a crab down here? Dab. Oh. There we go. Next we got the wall lamp. Uh, okay. I do appreciate uh, right when you're in survival it is probably a good idea that they have a bunch of these. Like just have them you craft the item with it with like a previous item because um then when you have like some wool and some sticks in your inventory with a torch, you're not gonna have like all of these pop up at the same time. There is a genuinely good idea to have them just be crafted with that. Can you open a chest still? Yes, you can. I thought you would. Here's how you can even stand on them properly. And then you have shelves. Three uh, planks and a stick. Shelf. Let's put some shelving here. Can you put items on them? Nope. Am I missing something? A wooden shelf for walls with customizable looks. Oh, hammer. Let's see what the hammer does to it. Oh, one, one. Right click. So you can have it be one. Or the other. So do that. And then you can have that be none, and then you can have that added. This would be cooler if you could like have stuff on it, but I can't. I'm trying to put this 
gold, enchanted golden apple on it is a vanilla item. And I can't put it on it until I try throwing it on, so... They're a bit useless. I may be... Uh, hold on. I have the invisible item frames. So if I get eight sticks... Put them in there. I get a lever. Oh, where's... Uh, yeah, I think lever will be in there. Yeah, one lever. And an item frame. And you stick that item frame on the wall. Yeah, so it's invisible, so then you could like... Put an item in it maybe, and then they... Yeah, it kind of looks like it's set on the, on the shelf, but... Yeah, I would prefer if you could just right click items onto it. Because it kind of, yeah, it's kind of useless. Even for decoration, it's not really that good if you can't put items on it. And then you've got small shelf, which is three slabs and a stick. Right, let's, uh, guess I could have some here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you can customize it with the hammer. Yep, you certainly can do that. Can you put items on it? No. You cannot. I don't even think this time the item frame trick will work because how it is, but I can give it a try. Hold on, I'm just going to give myself a nice frame. Give at P it 10. Oh, it's just called frame. It's not called item frame. So I can put it on the wall back there, and then if I... No? Oh, there. Yeah, no. Nah. Can't really do that. Which is annoying. And it's gone. I mean, I guess you could have that there. Then the item frame there. Then the apple there. And the item in that item frame. There we go. But it doesn't really work as work that well again. So again, yeah, pretty much pointless. Now I'm gonna be back in just one minute. Hey, right, I'm back. Just had to open the window and take my snooty off because it is hot today. All right, so we did that. On to the shutter, which is just six slabs. And oak oh, shutter. You get four pair. Now I believe these are meant to be used instead of windows. Well oh, that's gone forever. Oh. Why won't you? These things are weird sometimes. Go on. There you. There we go. Alright, you can right click to open them. And use the hammer to change the design. You 
can't open them. They're not really shutters in there. Well, they're not very good. Like, I guess you could like, hold on. I guess what you could do is like use them as like on the side of like windows and stuff to add like a bit of design. Like that. Or something, I don't know. Just a bit of a point to get so that you could open and close the kit. And so if you could open and close those shutters, then you could use them as the glass. For your windows, but no. Because that, that would be. Because if it, cause then if you could open and close them, just. Like. In, and you know, use them as the windows, that would be good for like medieval stuff because that's what they used to do in medieval times. Then you've got the sofa, which is uh, two sticks, two planks, and a sixth wall. And you get the white sofa. It's not. You don't. Uh. Okay, so they just connect automatically, and you can see on them. Very nice. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to bother crafting all of these, because it's just going to take way too much time. Uh, unless there's something I specifically want to say, yeah, there's a stool, you just craft it like that. You've also got a, a little table, so you can make a nice little living room and you got a tall stool you've got a bin that does this actually work uh, a can made for throwing away items dropping them when broken hmm. apparently yeah but I don't know right now. I don't know what to do oh hold on I don't, I don't want to craft this one now so three ingots and a nugget. And a nugget. Oh, yeah, three ingots and a nugget. Hmm. Could be missing it, but I can't see it on there. And you get three of them! Yeah! Neat. Okay, that would be cool right, if you're doing like, a hotel. And stuff. That would be cool. Is that? That's everything. Huh. Yeah, sure, but got some cool stuff in it, actually. Uh, my the only weird thing that I don't like in this is the just the shelves, like because you can't, and that's just because you can't put items on them. If they made it so you could put items on the shelves, I like made it maybe make it so like they worked a bit like chess, so you could like right click them and it would open an inventory where you could have like X amount of slots on it, and then you'd put an item in there and it would appear on uh, the shelf. That would be cool, and they should be able to be like open and closed, but other than the shirts can be open and shuttered. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I think. Yeah, it's decent. I, I, do, I do like the bells. Ding ding. 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 Right. Yeah, it's a bit of cool down on it. But yeah, let's move on. Uh, also, there's a bit of glitch where they just disappear. You have to be aware of that and be careful of it. Yeah, let's move on to the other add-on. Right, so now we're doing deco craft. I think it was called. Yeah, de de deco craft. Ah, uh, blah blah blah. Oh, there we go. It was other one. 
Uh, you are now proud owner of the official decograph for Bedrock Edition. Blah blah blah, getting started. Raw materials, basic ingredients for all decorations. Yeah. This special crafting table is where all the magic happens and you can... I mean, be able to craft the uh, decorations using the deco craft you will need to add red, green and blue dye as well as raw material uh, allows you to create raw materials uh, recipes to craft the deco bench you will need the following five spruce logs so that's specifically spruce three planks so just like any planks and an iron ingot so one iron ingot and five spruce logs that's dark oak, there's spruce. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I've got one too many. What? How did I even do that? Three, four, five. Alright, anyway, so it's an nine ingot. It's a tad bit expensive, considering the, the other one you didn't need to do through all this with them all. Roll. Uh, hold on. So three planks and then yeah, logs. And I got the Decker Craft bench. I'm just going to put the hammer away. Yeah. Also, there's some flower. So, well, that's uh, let's get this place down somewhere. I can go there, I guess. Oh, no, that's way too big. Uh, over here, he uh, just passed the computer will do. Oh, no, that's blocking the oars. There we go. So let's see what we got. Ah, uh, except for an itch. So we need raw materials, must be inserted there, and then the dye there. So, yeah, so give add P blue dye. 64. There was red, blue, RGB, red, blue, and green. Red. And green. So, how? Oh, it's still giving me the tutorial, and you just. On the way, left click. Oh yeah, so you. How do I put you in? Hold on. Where do I am here? Leave my own. Right. Where do I insert? Oh, there we go. You have to put it there. Oh, that's 64 die, isn't it? Let me just fill that up. And green die there. They've got the dying, so I suppose we need wood now as well, so... That's it. So if I... Oh. And five materials, so... 32! So let's just get some... I'm gonna put the yoke away there, and let's get some bit... Oh, I don't have any bitch. I'm going to take these logs, convert them into planks. Uh, 
No. You can have. Oh, there we go. So you're gonna you're gonna go in there. Okay, what? Do I need does it need to be wool? I do not get this. Alright, what do you say here? And I raw material. Right here, these. Do I need to craft the raw material? Let me see. To craft decomposer, you will need the following six logs, two planks, and an ingot. Six logs, two planks, and an ingot. Six logs. Has to be spruce logs. Blanks and an ingot. In kind of a bookcase kind of deal. Free, free. Boom, boom. Now we've got the decomposer. This bear be worth all the effort. What else is it in here? Uh, to craft the deco brush, you will need the following one wool, one deco bench, and a stick. Why do you need a good damn dicko bench? For a fucking brush! Uh, three planks on top and get there. I forgot to grab the mingot. Right, and now I got the deco bench, now I need to stick. Got the stick. Deco bench and a wall, and that creates a god. Like, seriously, an entire bleeding bench into just this one little thing. Like, seriously, that is just ridiculous. Alright, so what do I do with you? So, what do I just put oak in here? Oh, coal in this place. Ah, right. uh, blah, 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 So much ch rigmarole just for furniture. Alright, coal in there. Then in I wanna convert what what? Why won't you let me convert my wood? Let me... Why are you no work? That is... What? Does the book have any answers? I'm guessing no.
What the fuck? Why don't you work? It doesn't need... What? Why is... What am I doing wrong? Does it only like spruce? Because for some reason this, uh, the creator of this add-on really likes spruce. Oh, there we go. And then... Start. It would be cool if it didn't place blocks behind the machine though. Okay, so we finally have uh, material. Where is it? Yeah, oh, there it is. So we finally have this ma more material. So can we now make some? Oh god, don't go away! Are you rah? Stupid! Oh, and if I run away, it'll go away. Now can we put the material in there? Yes! Fucking finally! There's not even that... Like, why is there so little things we can craft? Like, hold on. Am I missing something? Because... Oh wait, yeah, that's just beds. We've got beds, we got storage, so... Let's see, what do we have in storage? Uh, a bunch of different things. Right, let's make a... No, not that one. That one, yeah. Craft. Yeah, we've got a bitch closet number seven. So, let's put this in the bedroom. Hey, it's actually a chest. Wait, a chest? Why are you only a single chest? It's so much bigger than a double chest. It's like one, two, three. It's like three double chests. And yet you only get a single chest worth. Come on, that should at least, at least be a double chest. Oh, that used up pretty much all of my he Hmm. Alright. I'm just gonna give a P my tier 64. Because it's too much of a pain in the butt to do normally, so I'm just gonna dump all this in there. I only need to click once. Uh. I guess we can do bed. No, not that bed, that bed. Craft. We have a bed. God damn it! Alright, bed. Uh, I'll just put it up here. Can you sleep in it? Yeah, you can. Not as good as a normal bed, but where's that paintbrush so you can dye, dye it? Yeah, you can change the colour. Does it also reset your spawn? Hold on. Kill. Oh, well, I'm going to do game keep inventory true real quick. Kill at P. Respawn. Yeah, it does also reset your uh, respawn point. Oh, good damn it, Martin. Go away.
Okay. What else do we have? Uh, there's a bunch of storage. Only like tables and chairs. You got a bunch of them. I'm not gonna craft all these because it's just so expensive, like dye and material. Actually, no, dye is not too bad because it's not gone down that much in for craft. But we got like kitchen stuff. We got like kitchen sinks and dishes and stuff and kitchen sides. And got bathroom stuff. Yeah, this has this does have a lot of um And then you got like miscellaneous like washer machine, your board. This question board. Ingots. So you can like make these and like put them in your like uh valuables area, like make a vault or something. Pizza and stuff. Some dog stuff. Oh, does this that okay so let's uh let's make one of these. Do hold on, let's I need to take off my helmet. I'll just make a hole here. Lock this off. Oh, you put it in lighting, but it doesn't actually produce any light. Oh no, it doesn't just... Okay, okay, that's fine. Its default is off. Why is the default off? You can't change that. Still, why is the default off? It's just dumb. Okay, I guess I'll put this upstairs. Huh. Oh. Now I click that at some point. Anyway. What else do we have? Oh, it's gone back to the beginning. Hold on, if I go to the opposite direction, I'll eventually get back there. So we've got entertainment, so we've got computers and stuff, and like easels. Oh, hold on, go back. Oh, we got the old plushies there, where we go to like a child's bedroom. Oh, there we go. So, yeah. So now, time for my verdict. Which one wins? Deco Craft or another furniture add on? Now, let's go point by point here. Uh, means of acquiring the furniture, that, like, um, another furniture add on wins that hands down. Because this whole, like, getting die and, like, processing this through that. And the, again, the paintbrush to just change the colours. Nah, that's just way too much faff. It's just annoying and the, the, also it doesn't even work probably because then you, it's difficult to like place the logs into the thing. So like where the bullet is located because you have, to, you have to click on there to put it in but it doesn't work if there's a gap behind it. Then you're placing stuff behind it and just the whole thing, whole system is just not very good so you either have to have no wall behind or you have to like have a wall like right up there so you can actually put the stuff in and it also uses coal and it also uses a lot of dye like you need uh, like red green and blue just to craft everything in here 
because uh, if I, oh, yeah, so I showed you there, white crib uses eight red. Uh, hold on. White crib uses eight red, 12 of a green, and 40 blue. And this one's even worse because that's like 28 red, 4 green, and 28 blue. So it uses a lot just like but a bunch of other stuff while the, well, like another furniture add on. You just basically need sticks and wool and you've got mo and you can craft most of the stuff in it. Uh, this also doesn't have any plant pots where the pl where the plant pots on that to really uh, stand out. And even though I don't really like how the shelves you can't really put items on them, the I don't remember seeing any shelves in this whatsoever. Uh, there's but there's like a bunch of various different like things, but I don't remember seeing any shelves. And if they were any, I think they'd be in storage. They got like tables and chairs and all that. And the, the, and that is a really big point for um, another furniture add-on because. Yeah, yes, while this may have more variety, it's just going to be a more pain of skin. It's like, let's take this here. Uh, that's 12 red, green, and 16 blue. So that's not super expensive, but that's 20 red, 60. So yeah, uh, if you're going to need craft, if you need to craft like a bunch of these, you are going to be running out of this a lot. And also 22 material, like you're going to be using up a lot of material, which also like requires coal to uh convert it's just a big pain in the neck really uh to craft them but for variety deco craft definitely has to take it for variety because it just has so many um things where deco craft does have uh, like all, all the different types of wood this has all the different types of wood plus like just more things that uh, deco craft uh, another fence shadow doesn't have like it has these hammocks and these baby cribs and there, well, all the beds. It doesn't. Uh, another furniture I don't even have any of them. Uh, and it has like these bookshelves and stuff. The winds by a mile were just like just the sheer amount of volume and just like variety it has uh, for that. Uh, and I guess I have to pick like, a tiebreaker. Well, I guess my personal opinion. Um, Ah, oh, how'd that happen? Um, my personal opinion, I prefer another furniture item because, like I said, you're just doing the crafting table with some sticks and wool, and sticks, wool, and wood, and it's just way easier. And you've also got the hammer that allows you to like add more variety, that adds more variety upon everything. So, yeah, and I and I wouldn't even like. I don't really care, like, if I go back here in entertainment, this whole computer uh, section, I don't really care about because you've got, because there's a, a naturally functioning computer add-on. So, it kind of makes that redundant. There's a lot of stuff. I'd say, if you're playing in creative mode and you're just, like, and you just want to build a really well decorated house, I definitely uh, go with this because it's just for the sheer variety of items you can like do the interior really well. But if you're doing survival, I think uh, another furniture add-on is is fine. It's because of its ease of crafting, and uh, you don't really need that many. Like you don't really need this many varieties of like beds and all that, and like all of, you don't really need like all of this. If you're playing survival. And like I said, in survival it's just gonna be more of a he it's just gonna be a headache to get all the materials that you need to craft it. So, Cause like so just so you'd need like a die farm for the die, you need a log you need an automatic tree farm for the wood to get the material if you want to build anything in on a lot like decorate something on a large scale. Like, it all adds up real quick where 
with another furniture channel, you just need a de half decent wool farm, and it's not that difficult to get wool, even without an automatic wool farm. And seriously, with my automatic wool farm, which is basically just an observer, grass, and blocks to keep the sheep in one place, and the dispenser of shears and a bit of redstone, I got all of this white wool, and like all these different wools as well. And I've not really gone AFK here. So, my personal favourite is, uh, you know, another furniture add-on because, yeah, get just the ease of crafting. Like, I don't, as someone who doesn't care that much for, like, all of this extra stuff, like, another furniture add-on is uh, decent and, like, gives you what you need. It gives, it gives you a few bits here just to, like, decorate your place, make it look a bit nicer, without just going overboard and just, like, all the... Other things, and uh, you can, and the, and I don't, and some builders might not even like uh, this because they like to, to like be, use uh, their creativity to see what uh, they can do with vanilla stuff. So yeah, and also again, that that wardrobe was just a scam. Like that should not be a single chest. That should be at least a double chest. Um. And I just think like the furniture, another furniture add-on. I think the stuff just looks a bit more Minecrafty, like a bit like you know if furniture was in Minecraft, right? No, uh, it's a bit hard to explain. But it, another furniture add-on feels more like if Mojang added vi furniture to Minecraft rather than this, where it just feels like you just took real-world furniture and put it into Minecraft. If you get what I mean, like this, what this feels a bit more Minecrafty, where this feels a bit more like you just took real life furniture and put it into Minecraft. Um. Oh dear me. But yeah. But tell me uh, down in the comment section below, which one do you prefer? Do you like the variety, the ver sheer variety? Of DecoCraft, or do you like the more Minecrafty feel of uh, another furniture add-on? I don't know this ease of crafting. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys all did enjoy this uh, video. Hope to see you guys in the next one, and bye bye.